Welcome to lab seven. In this lab, you'll use our 20 meter diameter radio telescope at Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia. It's six stories tall, 150 tons, and you'll move it around to collect spectra along the plane of our Milky Way galaxy. Radio astronomy is the other type of astronomy that you can do from the ground. And it's very different from visible light astronomy which is what you've experienced so far in this lab course. For one, you can carry out observations during the day, even close to the sun, and you can observe through the clouds, even when it's raining. The radio sky is very different from the visible light sky, and you can use it to measure and do things you otherwise wouldn't be able to do. However, these telescopes are very expensive each one is custom built and maintained, and there are a few of them. And consequently, most students and even many professionals simply don't have access to radio telescopes. But through Skynet and this lab, you do. Now, in this lab, you will use this telescope to measure the speeds at which matter orbits the center of our galaxy. You'll then use these measurements to determine something called a rotation curve. How fast is the matter orbiting the center of our galaxy as a function of its distance from the center? Using this rotation curve, you'll determine how the mass is distributed in our galaxy. Is it concentrated at the center, like in our solar system, or is it spread throughout the disk? You'll then measure how much mass is enclosed within different distances from the center. In other words, you'll weigh the galaxy. And you'll determine if the galaxy is composed primarily of visible matter or a combination of visible and dark matter. Lastly, there are no observations to put in for lab eight, but in the equipment section of lab eight, you'll find a short list of fairly common supplies that you'll need to round up before you can begin that lab. So I would start rounding up those supplies now. Okay, that's it for this video.